There is more and more research going into this sour beer production because there's so many living organisms in there. We're outside, out here in the brew house or the brewery, we'll have a beer that ferments with one yeast strain. It maxes out, it's done, 14 days later you have your beer and you're done. Where in here, some of these could have dozens, you know, maybe even a hundred living organisms and they're doing their thing, and they're not all going to do everything at the exact same time. And that is where you start tasting through and realizing, you know, what's going on. So, the, for me, the fun thing to think about is, day one, when I pitch whatever I've got, you have Saccharomyces, which is my standard brewer's yeast that everybody uses in all breweries around the country. And it goes at it and starts doing its thing with all these other little bugs and they're just kind of hanging out, slowly growing, they're just slow and lazy. And then when that dies off, you have this environment that is lower in pH and alcohol and has alcohol in it now, and Saccharomyces is like, I'm done, like that's all I can do. And you have these other things in there like bread, pedio, lacto. Still just hanging out because they're so slow. And then you'll start having one kind of take off. Like, all right, it's hit, it's what it does is the population has to hit like it's it's threshold. It's I don't know what you want to call it, it's tipping point almost as you will. Like it grows to a point, like, all right, we can tell now that the sugar content in here and the volume at which we need to start consuming, we have we're ready for that. And now they switch over and start doing metabolism. They start metabolizing the sugars or whatever's left in there to start producing their characters. And then those will die off. And then you have these other things and they're like bread will now start taking off. It's just weird to think about how everything can just do its own thing at its own time.